1999, the Pebble College Five revolutionized the game of basketball. You have to remember, in the 90s, in college basketball, nobody ever used a mustache as a sweatband replacement. We changed the game. This was a revolution. Yeah, growing up as a kid in Iowa, I mean, Pebble College was, was it. Guys like Joe Twinkle, Cat Kempton, Julius Cornwall, Dan John, Map Clunderful, Pling Blastman. These guys were my heroes. I remember when it was time to decide where I was going to go to school, uh, Coach F called me up and he said, do you want to be a Pebble? And I was like, excuse me? You know, I had terrible cell reception. I couldn't hear him at all. So he said it again, uh, still didn't hear it. You know, so we just kind of sorted it out later. He called the house phone. Ten championship rings, Mercedes Benz in the driveway, case upon case of canned cranberry sauce. I had it all. Then the administration calls. Cutting your budget. Time to panic. No more sweatpants. I, me personally, I sweat a lot. It's bad. It was worse back then. At a certain point, Coach F's canned cranberry sauce just wasn't cutting it. They wanted him fired. Sweating like that. With no elasticized terry claw to absorb it, it was hell. By mid-January, they were 1 in 15. It was the worst and sweatiest record in the history of our school's basketball program. I remember getting heckled by our own fans. They would throw pebbles at us during the game. We were sweating so much and losing so badly. The other team would taunt us, wear extra headbands, just to show how well they were doing, how much theirs was getting soaked up. But then, something extraordinary happened. Hakeem and John walk into my office about three weeks after the season ends. We're all rocking these mustaches. And I just remember turning to Coach and saying, I think we solved the problem. The basic premise behind it was using human mustache hair to absorb perspiration. But now we can use our mustaches to Using soak facial up hair to sop sweat. up each other's sweat. Yeah, nowadays, sure, it's seems pretty obvious, but back in the 90s, no one was doing this. Do you need to get close to your teammates? Yeah, obviously, but does it work every damn time? Back from the dead in 99, these guys were hot. This wasn't a comeback. This was a takeover. Lunch boxes, t-shirts. You couldn't go to a playground in the United States without seeing a mustache. Those mustaches saved me. They saved me. They saved our team, you know? Many believe those mustaches saved our country. We were a part of sports history. See, the Pebbles didn't just save their team. They made an important contribution to men's health by laying down the groundwork for the Movember Foundation. You grow a mustache and the world opens up to you. That's what the Pebbles taught us. It's like a hairy key on your face. It's like a big hairy face key. Well, we had, you know, there was the tragic free pebble night in 1975, which went tragically wrong. We said we'd never do that again. Of course, we did it again in 1982. We had free pebble night. And then we said, that's it. No more free pebbles because this is a mess and people are getting hurt. So we changed it to free battery night. And that actually went worse.